And what better an episode to get our Gold 99 Megatron than the NFC Championship in the final season of Wheel of Mutt. Welcome to episode number 60. Does that strike weird in your head? 60 episodes. Some of you have watched every single one. Some of you have watched every single one for years now. And I'd like to welcome you to an amazing one here. Huge shout out to my boy Fargo for grinding this Megatron. We hit level 50. We prestige Megatron so many Super Bowls ago. And it's paying off big time. The Gold 99 Megatron has a 98 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 trucking. He's even got amazing blocking stats. 99 spectacular catch, 98 catch in traffic. And of course, he's 6'5", 236. The only thing that's left is to see what discounted abilities he gets. Because we're going to be able to put a lot of them on here. We get deep out of leap for free. Route tech for one. Oh my god. God, he's so good. This is such a ridiculous card. I'm gonna give him route technician. So whatever route we put Megatron on, it's gonna be crispy. All right, gentlemen, I wanna thank you for such an amazing journey of Wheel of Mutt. And I hope we can get another dub today. Let's talk about the team. We have assembled one of, if not the best Wheel of Mutt team I've ever made. We're a 97 overall. My offensive line has Ty Inseki, Chris Lindstrom, Jason Kelsey, Zach Martin, and Abraham Lucas. The only real upgrade I can make is on the Zach Martin right here. My tight ends are team of the year George Kittle with TJ Hawkinson as the backup. My wide receivers are now Gold 99 Megatron, team of the year Justin Jefferson, and aka Scary Terry. My halfback is Gold 99 Ring of Honor Barry Sanders with Saquon Barkley backing him up. We've got Game Changers Justin Herbert and the Prestige, the Nigerian Nightmare. Defensively, we've got another Gold 99 and that is Lawrence Taylor's Ring of Honor loaded with absurd abilities coming off a four sack game in the wild card. Mirroring him is Clay Matthews, our power-up ultimate legend, who's also coming off a three-and-a-half sack game in the wild card. My free safety is ultimate legend Eric Berry, and my strong safety is weekly wild card Kirby Joseph, who actually has taken the helm away from Troy Palomalu, who sadly, despite having amazing abilities, is simply too slow to man the helm anymore. My corners are team of the year Sauce Gardner, team of the year PS2, and winter legend Richard Sherman. We're stacked with abilities. We are stacked with players. And I've got one more game to win, ladies and gentlemen. No sponsors, no sellouts, just raw wheel of mutt content, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get our first wheel spin in the books, and let's go get one final ring. We gotta get past this game first. Hey! My wheel spin is a GG2 jackpot. I gotta get a right guard if they have one. Now, low-key, Zach Martin is very good. He's boosted to a 95, but this Zach Martin came out in November. Definitely a card we can replace with somebody better. Now, Gridiron Guardians Volume 2. This is the promo that had Marcus Williams in it. There's an Ezra Cleveland who's a left guard, but Chris Lindstrom, who's in at left guard right now, is actually a right guard. So we could take Cleveland and put him where he's supposed to be. This works out literally perfectly. 97 overall, Ezra Cleveland will be my left guard here. Six foot six, three eleven. That's a very tall left guard, actually. Great strength, 90 speed is incredible for a guard. He's gonna get to that second level and light people up. We actually just short up literally maybe our only weakness right now. That was our only weakness. We just shorted up. Yeah, that's huge, man. Huge. I think Lindstrom's gonna be boosted to a 99 over here because I have an offensive line strategy item on. Hey, look at that fucking offensive line. 98, 98, 99, 99, 98. Only thing to worry about now with Ezra Cleveland is the abilities. He could get Nasty Streak for free, Post Up for one, or Identifier for free. I think Post Up is the best. It's kind of a bummer. His other slot isn't very good. Now let's get both of them activated. So Lindstrom with Nasty Streak and Post Up for one total, and Ezra Cleveland with Post Up for one total. This is the closest I've ever had to a God Squad. First wheel spin with a massive payoff. We get 98 Ezra Cleveland and Lindstrom moves back to right guard. Our second wheel spin is a choice. Ooh, what do I have? <gasps> Wait, I think I have eggs. Oh, shit. I think I do have eggs. I could choose one unopened pack from my binder here. Okay, so I do have the 98 overall game changer fantasy pack, so it's a guaranteed 98. I have a lot of eggs. I do have this one egg right here, which is a 98 overall free agent. I'm gonna take the 98 overall game changer fantasy pack. How many choices do I get? Is it only three? Or do I get multiple? Ooh, I might have made a just bad choice here. Starting out with Kevin Bayard, who's not gonna help. Our second player is gonna 
Khabib. No. Wait, he's technically a little bit better. Get 98 Batonio. Who's down the middle? Who's down the middle on this? What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Mark Andrews was the limited like a fucking month ago. Well, I suppose I guess I earned this pack like a month ago and then stuck it on my unopened. So it's registering the limited from a month ago. Wait a minute though. Okay, the only way I take Batonio is if he has like the most cracked discounted abilities ever. But I actually think I take Mark Andrews and put him in for Hawkinson. What does Batonio get? Wow, wait a minute here. Batonio has fucking insane abilities. Batonio can get post up nasty streak and secure protector for a grand total of one AP. That's two additional abilities for free. Reason number five fucking million that this discounted ability shit is so stupid. I just bought a 97 left guard and he's unusable compared to this 98, which makes no fucking sense. But Tony is the move there. I, I'm sad that I even had to choose because in hindsight, I could have grabbed like, I don't know, another tight end or something else. So just to show you, so Ezra Cleveland gets post up for one AP. Now let me show you what Batonio gets for one AP. Batonio boosted to a 99. I could get nasty streak for zero, post up for zero, identifier for one, secure protector for one, natural talent, polar elite. I can get nasty streak for zero. I can get secure protector for one. Dude, holy shit. And then post up for zero. I literally added nasty streak, which flattens DBs and linebackers. And I added secure protector for, for literally the same AP. Now I liked Ezra Cleveland better because he was faster. So he gets that second level faster. But this Batonio is the best left guard in the game. I'm running the rock today. We're gonna be moving that ball with Barry Sanders. I'm excited about it. We just struggled with success right there. Our spins were so good that I doubled up on the same position. This is our third and final wheel spin right here. I actually don't even have to think about this. I know exactly who I'm getting. I'm already 100% sure I want Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt is such a savage. One of my all-time favorite corners. He's six foot three, which is the meta. He's crazy fast, awesome stats, and his tackling is surprisingly good. And his ability to hit is crazy good for a corner. He only has 71 tackle, which isn't anything crazy, but 82 block shed is nasty. He has 91 hit power. So you can actually cause like fumbles with corner Mel Blunt. He's kind of like Night Train Lane, whereas a lot of people run prime time, except prime time's hit power is like 50. Easy ultimate legend pickup. He's going to be significantly better than Richard Sherman too. We can get deep route KO for one, pick artist for free, or mid zone for one. Pick artist for free is really all I was going for there, so we'll take it. Mel Blunt boosted to a 98 overall, and just to show you guys the upgrade, here's Mel Blunt compared to the Richard Sherman he just replaced. Exact same height Plus three speed, plus three acceleration. A little bit of agility, six play rec, man, zone, and press coverage. What a stud. And we actually replaced Richard Sherman with Trayvon Diggs. And here's Mel Blunt to Trayvon Diggs. It's night and day. So super excited to have that. Honestly, the least God squad thing about my team is my D-line. But my D-line has been playing amazing. And Lawrence Taylor and Clay Matthews provide all the pressure we could ever need. So I feel good about it. I've got one challenge wheel spin right here. And we're ready for the NFC Championship. I'm gonna let you guys see it first. My challenge wheel is, ooh, spread the wealth. Five different players need 25 plus yards. Quarterback passing yards do not count. Justin Herbert, the brand new gold 99 Megatron. And Sauce Gardner, he's got Herbo himself. That Brandon Marshall and Odell. Bro, I pulled that Brandon Marshall in my eggs opening video. Oh my God. Let's start out with some heat. We're sending the blitz. He can throw half back. He does. Oh, it's Pollard. I'm gonna drop one person into coverage here. Oh, he's, oh, heat, heat. Damn, good ball. Oh, that's a run. Is it? Oh, it's a play action, Lawrence Taylor. Let's go. Another sack on his resume. I got him. Shit, he hits that again. Gasicki tosses sauce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get that route he keeps throwing. Oh, shit. I was so close, but not close enough. We did get a big hit on him. An actual handoff. Oh, we are all over that. Eric Berry? I'm gonna play actual coverage here. Ooh, I gotta sub in Lawrence Taylor. He might have a laser beam that I don't see. Hey, let's go! It's third and 12. I have to sub out Aaron Donald for Lawrence Taylor. I'm gonna stay in this defense. I gotta go cover this left side. Yes, sir! Clay! Fourth and 12! Clay Matthews gets home! He's tossing up his blocks. Get An INT in the divisional! And Eric Berry to the 37. Let's go! Good, man. It's first and 10. I said I was gonna run the ball, so I'm gonna fucking run the ball. Let's see this opening run. It's got daylight. Block. 
from Jefferson. We cut it up and look at that. Look at Batonio. Run that one back. Look at Batonio getting to the second level and laying him out thanks to Nasty Streak. Sorry, Ezra Cleveland. I know you're fuming about this, but we did what we had to do. Oh, he makes a very good play with Minka right there. I got to go Megatron here. Ooh, I sort of have it. He catches it. Let's go, Megatron. Flip this over. Let's see it, Barry. Look at those blocks. Look at those blocks. We said, man, Megatron's got like... What does Megatron have? 84 run block? I'm gonna go left side right here. Second and six. Right at him. Ooh. Hey, they are having none of my shit right there. Third and six. Let's just make a perfect decision here. Megatron. Oh! Simple drag routes getting fucked up for some reason, and they're shanking it. Hey, I've got a stop, and I've got three points. So I'm really happy about that ball at half two. But wow. Peter! Look at Clay! Just takes one to the dome right there. Gonna go Gesicki, I think. He heaves one up to Mount Blunt! No way! Trash ball, trash catch. Oh, we were right on that. I had to step on him too. Damn, Mel Blunt! Mel Blunt, I vouched for you, bro! I did a challenge for you! We've had really good pressure so far. We've done a whole lot of things right. And Lawrence Taylor! Oh, Clay! Oh my god, Clay has the fuck ball! He caught it! He Clay, you're so fucking good! Lawrence, oh, that's karma right there! Lawrence Taylor shakes it up! Clay Matthews gets off Pollard! And catches the fucking- f I can't believe he just did that. I'm just gonna go with the dive. Look at those fucking blocks. Barry. Yes. Hey, we got a pass through, boys. I'm gonna let some clock tick. Take us in to the double digits. 59 seconds. Beautiful. Let's snap this. Cut it back up. Come on, Barry. Let's go, Barry. Let's fucking go, Barry. What a catch. Scary Terry. Picks up the first. All right, first and ten. Let's see how this looks. Oh, Megatron. Megatron is so easy. There it is! Deliver a laser! Take a 10-0 lead. Big time, boys! Okay. Gets the running back. He's out of bounds. Damn. He's looking at this. Oh, no. Why am I kind of torched? Good defense, but yo! Oh, no. Sertan is torched! Break up! Pat Sertan! Oh my god! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I was torched by Brandon Marshall. Dude, he had his hands on it. He was coming down with it. We got our greasy little claws in there, man. Oh my god. Patrick Sertan might have just saved the NFC Championship. 7 to 10 and 10 to 0. That's two different ball games, baby. Just stay in the pocket. Go, Herbo. Go, Herbo. Look at that. Let's get it, baby. Oh, he just pressed back. Oh, he's in trouble. Big time skirt. You're not getting that. Got a sketchy pass into Barry who breaks one, two tackles. Takes me to the 44. I'd actually just like to get a little bit more yards and get a field goal out of this. Oh, he fucked up. Let's go! Scary Terry! No way! No way! Oh, almost! That's 25 yards for Scary Terry. So 25 on him, 25 on Barry. I got 36 on Megatron. We're close, boys. Oh, he knows. He's, he's committing to the run. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, baby. Let's do a little yoga. Shit. I'm only looking for a safe throw. Only a safe throw. It's the only throw I'll make. That's not safe. Hey, we ticked a whole hell of a lot of clock right there. Drive was solid until the end, but we got a little pitiful there. Gonna hold this and use as much clock as I can. It'll let me go down to three seconds on that red timer. Then it'll auto kick it, bingo. Yeah, I really should have been able to get a touchdown there. Scary Terry almost got it. Played that a little too conservative, but at least if I get the ball back, a field goal takes me to 16. I'm moving Sertan back. He's gonna try that shit again. Play action. Oh, holy shit. I literally ran past him. He might just be fucking... <gasps> Oh, Matthew. Matthew Maher, you have to. You have to get that lurk. He's got a whip route. Does he throw it? No, he throws halfback. You're gonna get fucking just nuked. Oh, halfback, halfback. Shit. Nice play. Good dive and a good tackle. Inbounds. Keep that puppy ticking, baby. All right, straight coverage. Do not let B-Marsh do some B-Marsh shit. Ah! Ah! Good move! He might throw the same thing. He might throw halfback again. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Damn it. Dude, he's putting together such a good drive right now. No, you're not. Get the fuck. Get the fuck out of here, Herbert. What are you doing? I'm in straight coverage right now. <sighs> Hold him out. Yup. Keep it ticking. It's all about the clock right now. Oh, he might run this. Oh, he doesn't. <sighs> he scored fast, man. Field goal range ends the game. That's all I got to think about right now. Six point ball game, a minute 40. 
Dude, what the fuck? Where did Jackrabbit come from? Holy shit. Megatron fucking torched him. Oh, I have to possession catch that. George Kittle's open. I think. Oh my god! What are you doing? Jake Jennings! Oh my god! Ball game! That's the fucking game! He's in DB Fire 2! And he gets stuck on the safety! Yes! Halfback die, halfback die, field goal. My fucking heart is beating out of my chest. Oh my god, he could've just won the game. He run commits, doesn't matter. Unfortunately, it's a 42 yard field goal, so I don't get Zen kicker. Come on, Matt. Oh my god, look at that accuracy. Did I just shank this kick? Holy shit, I'm trembling. Did I just shank this? Oh, oh my god. Okay, Gary Anderson's wait. Oh, a penalty? <laughs> it was offsides anyway. It auto accepted it for me. I was still thinking. Best ball game anyway. Oh my god, what if I had shanked? Dude, that would be the funniest thing on planet Earth if I had shanked that and he had gone offsides. And with no time left in the ball game, the pipe players advance. To the fucking Super Bowl. Let's check our player sets. Let's see if we got it. So my Justin Herbert with a 145.8, only seven completed catches, but a touchdown and no interceptions. That'll win you a ball game. Barry, 13 for 48. Scary Terry, yes. Megatron, yes. Jefferson, yes. Shit. Dude, look who had the fucking game of his career, though. Clay Matthews with three solo tackles, two assists, two TFLs, and an interception. How many interception return yards do we have? We had seven. Eric Barry almost completed the challenge for us. He would have been our fifth player, but he had 23. Three interception return yards. Super Bowl! Win the Super Bowl. Become a season's champion. That's the only thing left. Listen, man, it's the final season of Wheel of Mud. Of course, I had to make it to the Super Bowl. It was inevitable. I will see you in the Super Bowl of Wheel of Mutt. Another day, another banger. I love you. Nice cock. Solid girth. Good vein down the middle. I rated an 8 out of 10. Peace.